<laughs> title This is a Game Show, where celebrities compete to title Kastabi Paintings for cash awards. And tonight's contestants are the art critic David Coggan. Yeah. Hi, David. Then we have the art critic Michelle Cohn. We've got all art critics today. We've got the art critic and painter, Walter Robinson, right there. Yeah. And that's Patrick Grant on keyboards. Okay. Okay, this is a figure urgently climbing a rope. Let's start off with an art history bonus question. Thank you, Simon, but that wasn't the question. Daumier inspired the foreground figure. Who inspired the background figure? The pair, the Very good. $20 to Lisa Rosen. Fortunato de Pero. Yeah. Fortunato de Pero. So we have a painting inspired both by a French master, Daumier, and an Italian master. De Pero. Do we have titles? I've got one. David, for you. Yep. Michelle, or. I've got one for you. It's like he, uh, I call it Paradise Lost. It's like he's trying to get out of the old pastoral, and he's sad, so he's leaving. Par here comes technology. Paradise Lost. Interesting. Paradise, Paradise Lost, that's what he said. Lisa, uh, um, Lisa wants to hear more, right, Lisa? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we should hear from Michelle Cohn or Walter Robinson. Climbing to heaven. Say that again, Lisa. Climbing to heaven. Michelle climbing to heaven, OK. Michelle, yeah, I'm for those who can't fly there. Michelle. Walter, do you have a title? You say he's going up the rope. The I think going up, but if you're a pessimist, in which you, case it would, be, down. it would be upward locomotion. That's pretty good. <laughs> upward locomotion. That's pretty clever. Can I buy for $20 upward locomotion by Walter Robinson? Is that worth $20? They don't uh, like it. Possibly, Walter. Michelle. Michelle Cohn said, climbing to heaven, is that worth $20? Climbing to heaven's perfect. Uh, it's perfect, but not everyone in New York City agrees. David, do you want us to vote on your title, or do you want to offer an even well, better one? My original one, I didn't know if it was clear that he was climbing, so my uh, figure was climbing, so my original title in my mind was Social Climber. You don't like that either, Mark. I prefer the first one. Okay, well, Paradise Lost. I got it. it's, it's hard to tell with this very... Let's try Paradise Lost. All right, Can Paradise, I buy Paradise Lost? Lost. Mark. I think I'm buying it. $20 to All David right, Carter thanks. for Paradise Lost. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I think very nice. Okay, now we're switching to a drawing immediately. Look at this fragmented figure. Can we see a Fragmented gross? figure. Doing a fragment dance in our multi cone lit world. <laughs> Michelle, yeah. do you feel a special connection to this drawing? <laughs> I should. You should. Because it has cones giving off beautiful light, which is what you do. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's got the broken luminary. foot and all the broken parts. Broken. Yeah, Something Your around. illumination is coming to to put together our fragmented fragmented society. So do you have a title? Or does Walter? I'm like I'm going. frozen. I need Dinara's uh, analysis. Is she Dinara, can you analyze the picture? Show the picture. You saw the picture. Oh, yeah. can you analyze? Yeah. <laughs> okay, show the picture. Well, perhaps it's a uh, struggling artist trying to make it into New York and... Um, uh, and it's controlled by a bunch of pointy-headed people. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I think it, besides being uh, broken, hey, yeah. being, uh, I guess, hopeful, he's looking up. Uh, they hope... Uh, I don't know what, it, what else can I say? That's good analysis. There's hope in the picture. He's looking up. He's a struggling artist, surrounded by all the pointy-headed people that control the art world. Wow. Right? That's what you said, right? Yes. Something like that. It's Denora. <laughs> okay, David, you heard Denora's analysis. Can we title the picture? We've got to pick up the pace. Um, you feel the cone pressure. Uh, <laughs> the 
This is cone pressure. <laughs> Walter, do you have cone pressure? The cone pressure. Can I buy cone pressure, Walter? Yeah, buy cone pressure. How about cone All right, twenty dollars to Lisa. I mean to Denora Delphine in in Rome. Twenty euros. Twenty euros. Check is in the mail. Cone pressure. Here's a guy who's so sad he's about to drown in an ocean of his own tears. Except the guardian angel is coming to the rescue. Does anyone have a title for this picture that speaks about something that many of us have experienced? I love the floating box of Kleenex. <laughs> you like the floating what? Floating box of Kleenex. Yeah, that's a nice touch. She Thank you, so Walter. Fabulous. So, David Coggins, do you have a title for this picture? Uh, the Tracks of My Tears. The what? Tracks of My Tears. Okay. Walter, do you have a great title for this picture? <laughs> Romantic. Oh, wait, I got another one. North? I got, I got another one. I'm sorry, because I What's see the paper one? in there. I'm going to say read it and weep. Because it's like, okay. maybe he's got a, like a, a letter of rejection or um, something like that. So read it and weep is mine, Mark. Yeah. It's titled. Charles, do you have any analysis? I think you said it, comp you said it obviously. This is a guy, we've all been there before, and this angel's trying to save him. And it's up to that uh, character to notice that he's trying to be saved. All right, I got it for you, Mark. Yeah. Very simple. Okay, uh, Coggins, you got the title? The Bailout. Yeah. That's good. Can I buy the bailout yeah. for $20 by David Coggins? Oh. oh, my goodness, yes. $40. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Current. Oh, Speaking yeah. about bailouts. Oh yeah, Denora likes this picture, right? Denora, why do you like the picture, Denora? Why, why do you like it? She doesn't know why she likes it, but she just likes it. I like it too. We've got a fantasy scene here. Go back to the painting for a second, please. I like it. It's These like... two people in bed are both having fantasies about other things. She would rather be with a cowboy, and he would rather be with a cowgirl. See, these, I guess the uh, white figures represent the of some well, that's sort. Who wants to be with the horse? <laughs> I'm gonna David, Tenora wants to know who wants to be with the horse. <laughs> what, what do I want to do with the horse? Oh. No, she wants to know who wants to be with the horse. Yeah, who's the who's <laughs> bestiality in the room? Oh, I see. Caligula. Yeah. Um, All right. I've got, you know, this is a, a phrase that was the Boston Red Sox um, team motto in 2004, but it kind of makes sense here. It's cowboy up. Interesting. Cowboy up. Referring to the erection, right? I, I hadn't even gotten that far. I just, I just, it felt right, and I, All right. it could it's make a good sense. title. Let's speak with Michelle Cohn and Walter Robinson. Do we have titles that are even better than Cowboy Up? I have one. What is that, Walter? Tainted Love. Tainted Love. That's good. Michelle, do you have a title? It's a French <laughs> word. What it's is it, Michelle? Go with French. Okay, it's Say French. French. Uh, partouz, it's when there's more than one couple making love. Fuck two? Partouz. <laughs> partouz. I like it because it also says right. part two. Can I buy? Partouz. Can I buy Michelle Cohn's title? The French one. Partouz. 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 Yes, we'll buy it. Twenty dollars for Michelle yeah. Cohn. Yeah. All right, now partouz. Partouz. Daniel, pl please bring this painting which features a rainbow. A rainbow, and it features a human bridge that's I cracking up that. because he's had that. a long history of being walked all over as he's helping everyone else get to where they want to go. I Does that know. sound familiar to anybody among yeah, the me. luminaries? It's me. That's I have you? a title, The what Path is to Health Reform. Really? What? You're too long. You're so topical. What? Yeah. <laughs> what, what did he... We're going to old and age. I couldn't hear that. Single-payer health care. Doesn't that look okay, like that's, good? Okay, that's something to think about. <laughs> Let's go over to See. either Michelle or David. Do you have something, Michelle or David? Uh, is David. there a, is there been a title support system? Like, uh, yeah, really, maybe, but really that really could yeah. work. That could work. Let's see. Can I buy a support system by David Coggins for 20? Yes, 20 dollars right. David yeah. Coggins. Yeah. Support yeah. Yeah. Bell ringing if I get my titles bought. It makes me feel like the only one. Oh, look at this picture of two dancers in Rome with a constructivist wedge. Are you going to hate uh, me for saying Roman candle, Mark? I won't hate you for that. 
but I don't necessarily want to give you twenty dollars for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> neither does neither does the jury. Yeah. All right. Let's look at uh, other titles by Walter and Michelle. Do you have anything in French, Michelle? <laughs> no. Anything in French, Michelle? <coughs> Escaping gravity. Escaping gravity is pretty good in English. Yeah, uh, Denora likes it. Let's vote right away. Can I buy Escaping Gravity by Michelle Cohn for $20? Yes, $20 to Michelle Cohn for Escaping Gravity. Speaks about taxation. I yeah. Like the, I like how the white figure's head it has kind of a crown upper shape. Yeah, it's like it an upper T. That's yeah. right. It's like, it's like uh, all. I, I call this one um, tax burden. That's good. Can I buy tax burden by David Coggins yeah. for twenty dollars? Yeah. And the bell. Thank you. Twenty dollars. So. We have another variation of okay, the human fridge. The, this I guy. have the title. It's French. It's What's your title, Michelle? Déjà vu. Focus. It's an end joke because the title has to stand independently from this television show. <laughs> Walter, do we have a title for this guy who is sacrificing himself eternally to help others? I don't know, Silent Spring. Silent Spring. <laughs> That's inter interesting. Silent Spring. It's got to be as like good that. as Tax Murder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, 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 <laughs> but before we vote, Michelle and David, you have something even better than Silent Spring, which Denora likes. Yay, Denora. <laughs> Yay, Denora. What are you doing in Rome? I call it, um, oh. Winter. Okay, Mark, I have one. Crosstown Traffic. Have... Say it again. Crosstown traffic. I That's like great. That. In homage to yeah. Jimi Hendrix. Can I buy it? Crosstown traffic. $40 to Walter Robbins. Walter Robbins. Walter Robbins. An embracing couple in a restaurant in Rome. Handle with care. Get a room. Get a room. That's fantastic. Can I buy it? Get a room. The teapots don't want to see this PD. Hey. $20 Okay, now. Virtual love. Virtual love is good. <laughs> Can I buy virtual love by Michelle Cohn? $40. It's $100. Yeah, now this one has a third, fourth, two more figures. It's the spirit of George O'Keefe. Look at those um, cactuses. Yeah, man. The prickly. Oh my God, and it's, it's so high in the air and everything. This is a beautiful painting. It's hot in hell. It's hot in hell, I like that. Oh, How about, um, or it could be a sunburn. That's what it is, it's the spirit of sunblock. See the little white one there? That's the spirit. Well, wait now. Walter. Walter, look at this painting. Take a good look at this painting. This painting. I know the gold name. It has a real message to it. I mean, it's not a, It's not that jokey. Look, there's there are two users running across this red hot human bridge in the desert, and there's a muse who doesn't need to get any place. She's very ha happy sitting on the wrist of the of the used. The wrist of the used, and then there's a guard, there's a controlling angel. It's full of content. And then there's the prickly cactuses, which add another edge to it. So what should we call this David Coggins? Desert rain. In the bright sunlight. I, 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 so, I, you're getting there. <laughs> You've got the context <laughs> right. It is, it's R -E -I -G -N. not a R-E-I-G-N, oh. you know, like overhead, oh, she's coming oh. over. Oh, that's so, good. Do you get that? But still, the painting deals with this issue of, of people using other people, okay. and some people not minding being used. Okay. Right? So, all right, Michelle right. Cohn, do you have I a title? You, you want to do something that's momentarily serious? Yeah. Yeah. In a way, absolutely. in a way, you kind of have to. If you don't refer to it, you're ignoring it. It'd be something like the Red Man in America. Oh yeah. 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 No, 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 
That's political. American. Referring to the exploitation of the American Indian. Yeah. Can I buy it? Red <laughs> man in America. American. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Red, red man is a uh, slur. You can't use red man. What do you mean it's a slur? You're referring to this human being by the color of... It's like it's calling Pigger. Glenn O'Brien had colored people playing jazz like three about, weeks ago. How about Native American? <laughs> Want to call it Native American? No. No, no. that ruins the... He is the, red. He is red. No, wait, I don't... Look, Paul Mills, I have tremendous respect for Paul Mills, and I don't want to do anything politically incorrect. <laughs> But Paul, every single jury member voted green on Red Man in America. Was that because of my enthusiastic analysis? No, because it's a great title. I can only analyze the it's painting. I can't okay. analyze right. the jury. We've heard your point. Now, now, let's vote again. Poet. Let's vote again. We've heard Paul Mills's objection. Can I buy it? Red Man in America by Walter Robinson. Yes, sir. Who ever heard of Twenty dollars to Walter Robinson. Twenty. Forty. It's an edgy title. Got political content now. Okay, oh, like speaking this. of red, here we have an homage to which great pianist? Who said it first? We both kind of said it. I said it third. Who said it first, Charles? Lisa Rosen gets twenty dollars for saying it first. Helen Grimo. <laughs> The great classical pianist has a deep and profound connection to Wolf. And three of these lurking, lecherous Wolf are. Uh, I think that the pianist has summoned the Wolf. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. Have we called one of these animal spirits yet? <laughs> no, but that's good. This is good. Can I buy the Nora likes the kind of animal spirits, right? Can I buy animal spirits by Walter Robinson? Yeah. Approved by the Nora Delphine. It's boring. Uh, it's not, not enough approval. No. Okay. Simon, Michelle it's too or boring. David Coggins. The uh, summon. The summon song. Coggins, you've had your your minute of uh, the song. Summon song. <laughs> summon song. Oh my God, that's old. <laughs> How about moon moon melody? Lisa, that's so fabulous that you said that, Lisa. Obviously, you don't have any political connection to no. David Coggins, right? <laughs> you don't. If you offend him, it's very bad. Less, it is. Right? I, it it deserves that. Gas Wild, what's your title? Gas. Midnight Apocalypse. Oh. Can I buy Midnight Apocalypse by Gas Wild for twenty dollars? I thought he was going to win. It was so. It was so heavy metal. Yeah. <laughs> And it was Gas Wild offering it. Yeah. Here's he should have won it. Musical fact in, uh, in music, uh, this interval mark you know is called the Wolf Tone. What? Right tone. That's a great title. Oh, I have a title. That's the title. I have a wolf Tone. Can I buy the Wolf Tone for twenty dollars? Is that by Patrick Grant? Yes. Twenty. Forty dollars for Patrick Grant. Yeah. Patrick, I never heard that term. Now that you're extra rich, I, I bet you'll be extra inspired for your special musical interlude. I, interlude, right? Sure. And what will you perform for us? Uh, I'm really, uh, you know, affected by the weather all week, so I'm gonna play a little ELO. Ooh. Okay. <laughs>
great. So 50 all around. What, what would that be, Michelle? Think for yourself. Think for yourself. Didn't you think? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It deals with the painting. The painting is a juxtaposition of a painter who uses his brain, symbolized by the light bulb above his head, and consequently all the collectors and critics are lined up to give him money and respect. Whereas the artist that's painting with his heart, he ain't got nothing. He's on the floor. And he's in misery. He's got a hat, and maybe there's one coin in there. Now, yeah, yeah, I don't really believe that that's the way life is. We've heard Michelle's title. What do we have from Coggins and Robinson? I got one. What would that be? Since what? I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> red is the real green. Red is the real green. Ooh, or red is the new yeah. green. Can I buy? Can I buy? Red is the new green by Walter yeah, Robinson yeah, for real, fifty dollars. Well, you can have yeah, fifty dollars to Walter Robinson. I want one of these. Yeah, paintings. Oh my God! Another used figure and two users. I have a spoken word analysis. Please, Paul Mills. This is an illustration of a poem by Edgar Allan Poe called El Dorado, and it has a line: "Over the mountains of the moon, down the valley of the shadow." Just use that as the title. If you want to, let's do it. My let's quote Poe. Can I buy and say it one more time, Poe? As Over we the gain mountains the jury. of the moon, down the valley of the shadow. Can we buy that for twenty dollars by Paul Mill? Twenty dollars to Paul Mill. <laughs> We're going to have an art history question right now. Okay, not Andy Warhol. Mimo Rotella. Well, I was thinking about that, but I switched. The question is, what is the name of this specific Andy Warhol painting that's being quoted? Torn canvas soup can? Well, it, it may have just been called... Pepper, uh, pepper, the pepper. pepper pot. Pepper. Who said pepper pot? Ed. 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 Ed gets $20. Yeah! Ed. Look at that, pure happiness. Already did, you already did pop music? Yeah, I think so. We can do it again if it's good. I think I think Carlos was canned music. Canned music, yeah. That, that, was, that was Carlos. Pop music is pretty good. Can opener? Right. Pop, like the pop Can art. opener is great. Can I buy can opener by the genius Walter Robinson for $20? <laughs> oh, Walt Mills. $20 to Walter Robinson for can opener. I love it. I just sit here. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Paul said it. Paul, can opener, brilliant, brilliant. Sorry, I thought it was Walter by the genius Paul Mills. So, how about so under the weather? Oh like, yeah, yeah. That's a good title. Under the weather. Under the weather. Under the weather. Can I buy Under the Weather by by David Coggins for twenty? It's worth forty dollars. Yeah. David Coggins for Under the Weather. That's genius. Genius by David Coggins. So this I, is a uh, true variation on a theme. It's really buried. All right. Yes, How about, uh, yes. yeah. what do we have? Let's look at these two. How about gridlock? <laughs> Social climb. That's a good one. How about Pearl de Sauté? <laughs> Lisa Rosen, do you have any analysis? No, but uh, New York it was like climbers, social climbers, climbing, New York climbers, climbing. Good analysis. When I yeah. tried my social climber very, title earlier, it's very, it's very anxious, right? Okay, let's get the that overriding the feeling is one of anxiety. So that's yeah. Call it man in a box. Okay. Man in a box is good. good. Walter, that's almost box. like Simon's title, uh, living in a bubble or whatever he said. <laughs> <laughs> But there was no Walter, bubble in Simon's your French, picture. French uh, deconstructionist title. Well, I said boxed, boxed, or 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 scared, 
shit or scared shit? Can you give us the Walter. title of a? <laughs> okay, Walter or Michelle Cohn. Can you channel Baudrillard and come up with something semiotic? Yes. So if you don't like so good grid, why don't you like gridlock? Like it's it's the grid of the Actually, city, that is, and then oh, he won't move. That might he's, win. he's scared. If, if that so wins, we would we really wasted a lot of time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye gridlock. Gridlock. Yeah. Bye gridlock. Oh my God! Forty dollars. What a big waste. Of time. That's what gridlock is, Mark. Gridlock is a big waste of time. I'm living the. Took him to the money from the start.